from chatbots encouraging suicide, yikes, to agents deleting production databases. Yep. <laughs> uh, AI failures are escalating. Yes, they are, Dr. Kolf. <laughs> but blaming human operators misses the point. Yeah, uh, uh, exactly. And I think that I don't love that a lot of the folks that are building many of these advanced AI systems are kind of like passing the buck. I want to say, I feel like this started, or maybe the first time I saw it was when Microsoft uh, and their GitHub Copilot system was, it was doing some code replication, I think. <coughs> And and maybe this is when it nearly perfectly replicated uh, some of Tim Davis's code. And at that point, I think that Microsoft realized, uh-oh, we could be in a little bit of trouble. So let's instead say that it's not our responsibility all we're doing are giving suggestions, but whoever accepts the feedback, they're the ones who are ultimately responsible. And the way I kind of think about this is, well, I mean, I, th I think there's many ways to think about this, but one way is imagine if you're at a busy intersection and there's a street light and there's a whole bunch of people in all directions that are kind of waiting for their turn. And then the street light somehow turns all the lights green at the same time. So then everybody drives in and gets into a massive accident. <clears throat> who, who do you blame here? Now, I don't necessarily know what the answer is. And again, I, we haven't even started reading this article, but I wanna share that I think one thing is certain, and that is pushing all accountability to the human operators without the folks that are developing the AI systems themselves feels minimally intellectually dishonest and maximally just outright a lie. It's just completely mercenary and it's not acting good in good faith at all. 